Hi, thanks for coming along. Today, we're going to head on over to Iowa, eastern Iowa to be exact, in the quad city of Davenport. So buckle up, let's go. Davenport, Iowa is located in the quad cities of Illinois and Iowa along the Mississippi River. We cross this bridge into Iowa and head on over to Eastern Avenue where we find a campus-like setting with the location of today's marker, which commemorates the life and sacrifice of Marion G. Crandall. Ms. Crandall was a resident of Davenport, Iowa and taught French at St. Catherine's School. When World War I broke out, she volunteered her services with the YMCA. The YMCA was an organization that aided soldiers by providing home-cooked meals and providing reading materials to weary troops. Unfortunately, Ms. Crandall died when an artillery shell struck the building where she was residing. This made her the first American woman to die in the war zone in World War I. And now, the capture of the marker. Marion G. Crandall, 1872 to 1918. Marion Crandall was the first American woman to die in the war zone during World War I. She was born in Cedar Rapids, but spent several years in France, where she attended the Sorbonne University. In 1916, she came to Davenport as a teacher at St. Catherine's School. When the war broke out, she offered her services to the YMCA division, which aided French soldiers, and arrived in Paris in February of 1918. She was killed on March 27th when a German artillery shell struck the building in which she was lodging. She was buried in a French military cemetery. Erected by the Iowa State Historical Department, Division of the State Historical Society, and by Hannah Caldwell Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, 1979.